there, folks. Prepare to have your mind blown. Afghanistan is pulling off the impossible with multi-billion dollar mega projects that are transforming the nation as we speak. We're talking about colossal dams and Asia's largest artificial river, projects that you'd never expect from a country with such a turbulent past. But here's the twist. Where is all this money coming from? Are they really just borrowing or is there something more at play? And how on earth are they pulling this off with a government that's still finding its feet? The answers might shock you. So, let's delve straight in. Let's start with the Tory Dam. It's a dam that's said to help alleviate the severe droughts causing widespread food and water shortages. Can you imagine that in 2022, the World Food Program warned of an impending famine within 25 years, putting the nation's agricultural sector at risk. To combat this, construction of the Tory Dam in Zabul province began in September 2022, with a budget of $1.15 million. Surprisingly, this dam is projected to store about 3 million cubic meters of water, irrigate 600 hectares of land, and generate 1,000 kilowatts of electricity. Now let's move on to a mega road project that was not what I expected at the start. It's like they're getting some modern motorways, introducing the Herat Kabul Road Network. On April 29, 2024, work began on a crucial road linking Herat province in western Afghanistan to the national capital Kabul. This 480-kilometer road, costing $450 million, is expected to be completed within five years. It's a mega highway with a width of 12 meters, aims to alleviate traffic congestion in Kabul by passing through the provinces of Gor, Bamyan, and Wardak. Our next stop brings us to the Trans-Afghan Railway Project. A railway project in the desert, really? Well, the Trans-Afghan Railway is poised to become a vital economic corridor linking Central Asia with South Asia. While everyone's eyes were on CPEC, this project is something more. Spanning 75 kilometers, this railway is a key component of the Taliban government's plan to revive long-stalled railway projects. The broader vision includes a network connecting Uzbekistan, Afghanistan, and Pakistan with 700 kilometers of tracks. Supported by the three nations, this project will eventually link Herat to Iran and Uzbekistan, estimated to cost $5 billion. Yes, it's dealing in billions. The railway is expected to be completed within three to five years. Now let's take a look at the Afghanistan Ring Road project. It's one of a kind, ambitious project designed to connect major cities and towns, including Kabul, Kandahar, Herat, and Mazar-i-Sharif, with a 3,200-kilometer road network. Initiated in the 1960s, the project has faced numerous setbacks due to wars and political unrest. Despite efforts by the U.S. and other foreign governments to revive it in 2003, the project stalled again by 2006. However, the Taliban government has since committed to investing heavily in infrastructure, including the Ring Road. Next on our list is Kabul New City. In 2008, the Afghan government allocated $15 billion to redevelop Kabul, which had become overcrowded with refugees. Despite facing numerous challenges, the plan was revived in 2023, with the government finalizing blueprints for Kabul New City. Land has been distributed to thousands of families, and essential amenities like water, electricity, sewage systems, and roads are being established. In August 2023, a significant milestone was reached when the government signed an agreement with Car Construction Company to build housing and infrastructure for 3 million people. If you've reached this far, I think this video deserves a like. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe because you clearly enjoy watching amazing content. Now, on to the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor Expansion. On May 6, 2023, Afghanistan received a significant boost toward economic stability when China announced its inclusion in the $62 billion China-Pakistan Economic Corridor or CPEC expansion. Launched in April 2015, this global network of roads, railways, airports, and seaports aims to streamline the movement of goods across China, the Middle East, Africa, and Europe while cutting shipping costs and times. Afghanistan stands to benefit from the 92-kilometer Wakhan Corridor, which connects it to China, 
granting access to Asian, European, African, and South American markets. Next up is the Kosh Tapa Canal. The Kosh Tapa Canal is a colossal project undertaken by the Afghan government in the northern province, drawing water from the AMU Darya River. The canal, which measures 285 kilometers in length, 152 meters in width, and 8.5 meters in depth, will make 550,000 hectares of desert land fertile, turning Afghanistan into a major wheat exporter in the Middle East. The canal, expected to cost $684 million and be completed by 2028, will also address water shortages by providing clean drinking water to millions of Afghans. Wait, we're nearing something you've got to see. They're literally pouring money into the desert to turn it into gold. The Salma Dam is another notable project. Located in the western province of Herat, this dam is a symbol of Afghanistan's potential for hydroelectric power. Standing 20 kilometers long and 144 meters high, this massive concrete gravity dam can generate 42 megawatts of electricity, providing power to homes and industries across the region. The dam also irrigates 75,000 hectares of land, enhancing agricultural productivity. The project was abandoned until 2006 when the Indian government, led by President Vajpayee, revived it with an initial investment of $275 million. Finally, the most ambitious project is the Kafharat Railway, which involves thousands of kilometers of rail network. Afghanistan's strategic position between China, Iran, Pakistan, and Central Asia makes it a key transportation link in the region. The Kafharat Railway is a crucial part of the proposed $2 billion five-nation railway corridor, spanning Iran, Afghanistan, Tajikistan, Kyrgyzstan, and China. I've got another video of Dubai trying to reach India through an underwater rail project. Check that out to know about the amazing project. Or let's watch this amazing high-speed rail project under construction in India. These projects will blow your mind.